Grace Harrison will be telling us about laundries in a much more entertaining manner. You can welcome Grace to the stage. interested in community building and co-production and I'm part of the team behind Kitty's Laundrette. Um, it's a social enterprise and we've been working on it for the last two years to open a laundrette that provides affordable washing and drying services for the local community but also reimagines the warm interior of the laundrette as a, as a sort of semi-public space for a variety of creative and social activities. Um, so we wanted to connect to the very social experience of wash houses and laundrettes in years gone by as central sites of local communities on the high street where people got together by choice or by chance to do their weekly wash. Uh, we've only begun, uh, we've only just begun researching this area of social life but we have begun hosting events at Home Baked in Anfield and um, inviting people to share their memories, tell us tales and inviting local historians to, to talk about this period. Um, so we've been learning about the origins of this communal resource and um, it's it coming out of the uh, swell of population in the, 19th, in the early 19th century where squalid courts and terrace houses were abundant and sanitation was minimal. Um, in this context, Irish migrant Kitty Wilkinson lived uh, after coming over as a child in 1812. And although she lived in poverty most of her life, she diligently worked to assist her poor uh, community taking in orphan children and destitute wid widows. And uh, during the cholera epidemic of um, 1832, no, uh, she um, was inviting her neighbors in to use her boiler and, her, and had a, a big impact on, on cleanliness, not cholera. Um, but um, her, her work in sanitation was recognized by the Rathbone family. And then in, um, through their work with her in May 18, 42, Liverpool City Council opened the first uh, public wash house in Frederick Street. And um, so, uh, and then a uh, baths and wash house committee was established in 1852 to manage the expansion of wash houses and laundrettes across the city. And um, so integral to communities was the, the warm uh, place to rest and um, for people to meet. And this is a painting by Edward uh, Degas from the early, 20th, uh, early 19th century, uh, a depiction of a woman ironing. And we've kind of found it quite hard to locate a lot of this history. And um, there is some contestation about Kitty's role in the establishment of the uh, laundrettes and wash houses, but we were interested in questioning, is this quite indicative of the historically sparse representation of women and particularly the lives of the working class? Um, but through this research, we've been hearing lots of beautiful stories from women about um, wheeling the washing down in a pram, um, or from, from young kids being asked to wait outside and keep the leg warm uh, on the ventilation. And we've been hearing about how central it was to social life that you'd book your time slot at the same time as your friends, and you'd have a cup of tea, and there'd be childcare, and it was like a really crucial place to catch up on the gossip. Um, and so uh, women's history is, is central to this, but also the history of migrants, in that for more than a century, uh, many laundries were run by Chinese migrants in the UK and the US. And that, that place is on uh, Lark Lane and the signage, um, on a penny lane and the signage is still in existence. And this shows Fred Robinson's laundrette in Everton. It was one of the last to close. And that was um, after uh, a bunch of local women staged some sit-ins and protests to stop it from being closed, although it eventually did 15 years after that in uh, 1995. So uh, from this, we've decided to run a heritage project and during the first year of running our new uh, community laundrette, where we'll be inviting people to share their stories, do oral histories and animate these histories through events and exhibitions. And we also want to connect to the kind of cultural experiences around laundrettes. So this is some stills from the, the uh, film My Beautiful Laundrette, made in 1985. Here's the artist Stephen Pippin, who uh, was nominated, uh, was shortlisted for the Turner Prize in 1999. And he made this work restaging Edward Moybridge's um, early movement photos, and he rode a horse through a laundrette. Um, 
So we've uh, we finally secured these premises in Everton and Anfield, and we've started running events to engage our local community to build uh, what we hope to be a really community-focused business. Um, and uh, so next week we are launching a crowdfunder, and we've commissioned a bunch of Liverpool artists to make really creative rewards, which um, I will have kind of like laundry themes. We've got this beautiful um, stop-motion animation, and. Um, yeah, please like look us up and share the campaign and um, come and do your washing. And I've got some candles. Yeah. Thank you.